I completely disappear? Can you hear me now? Oh. All right, can you hear me now? There's Michelle. Michelle's back as the host. Lindsay had to take over for you while you were absent. Sweet. Would you tell him, Lindsay? I'm sure he tore it up. Face. Oh, this connection's not working very well. <laughs> but then you came back on and, oh, you're unfrozen. Wait, you were unfrozen. <laughs> I'm hearing now. Can you hear me? <laughs> like so. Yes, hey. I can see you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe I have nothing left good to say. I don't know. Okay. This is this is this is why I talk about whys, uh -huh, um, so much. It's so incredibly important that you know why you want to get on the phone. Do you understand? The fear of the phone is greater than most people's fear of death. Okay? Like, it just, you know, that in public speaking, it's just not people's favorite thing to do. Yet, at the same time, when you learn to do it consistently and learn that you make money from doing it and that's the only way you can help people is by getting on the phone, there's a shift that's made. Okay, but you have to know your whys. Like Lindsay, you know that $2,000, but what is that $2,000 gonna do for your life? Okay, um, you're have, right now you're on a high Belinda with the damsel in defense stuff, but you're gonna come to a point where it's work instead of fun a little bit. Like all of a sudden it'll kind of go like this a little bit and um, like you gotta know your whys. And the same thing, Rana, you sweet thing, you've got to know why you're getting on that phone because it's, it isn't worth the nose and, and some, there just simply is some what feels like, it's not necessarily rejection, but we kind of take it that way, okay? There's gonna be some of it. There's just no if, ands, or buts about it. It's just how it is, okay? There will be some of that that comes. And, and that's okay. Not everybody needs, wants, affords, or it's not the highest priority right now in their life for different reasons. It doesn't matter. It isn't that it's not, it's not that it isn't important or isn't imp more important one day, but sometimes it's not on the top of their list. Okay. And you've got to learn not to take that personal and you've got to be able to go on to the next phone call and talk to them and find out their whys. So why is it worth it to get on the phone? Like, what's that $2,000? How's it going to feel? And how's it going to change your life and your circumstances, Lindsay? You want an actual answer, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yep, um, my answer. Well, for me, it'll, it'll mean also that, I mean, if I am bringing in that extra money and being able to build momentum off of that and then be able to start doing consistently, you know, consistently three to four parties a week, then five to six parties a week. And then, you know, just having that business, it means that my husband can actually stop working as much and focus on school a little bit more during the day. Um, my um, son, well, my oldest son, um, we really want to put him into a two day preschool. Mm -hmm. so that would be that which would mean again like if he's in preschool during this certain hours and my husband can take Tuesday Thursdays off there's a whole afternoon where basically there's no interruption for any of us right well I can do work the kids are being taken care of and learning and being educated and socialized um so it just kind of for me it means an all over just happier balance of home work and school life <laughs> okay so, Lindsay, that needs to be a picture on your board. Okay. That, that circle, that, I mean, because it basically was a circle. If I can do this, 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 and this happens, and then I get to do more of it, and it, like, right? It was kind of this life circle for business, <laughs> business and family consequence circle, basically, is what it came down to, right? Okay? Mm -hmm. 
So that's got to be up on your board with all your cool quotes and your charts. Okay. You've got to know why you want it. Okay. So Rona, tell me, why do you want to get on the phone? I know you're big. You love to help people. That's a huge thing for you. What would it do for your family's life? How much extra money do you want to be bringing in a month? 1500 1500 And how would that change you and your family's lives? Uh-oh, Rana froze. <laughs> okay, Belinda, be thinking about how much you're wanting to make a month, girlfriend. I am. Okay. I don't think Rana's back. Okay. How much do you want to be making a month, Belinda? <laughs> Realistically, right now, I want to be, I mean, I have a goal, ultimate goal, but right now, for the month of November, I would like to make 800 for the month. Cool. And so, um, figuring that out, uh, based on some big events that I have coming up, I think that's definitely achievable, even exceedable. <clears throat> okay. But that's going to require me to book about 12 uh, Empower Hours this month. And I also have a big three-day event scheduled. Um, I've already got four of my power hours scheduled. And I would like to have two recruits. And I've got the meeting with the one gal already. Mm -hmm. So the thing I want to hear from you, though, is where that money is going to go. Into my floors. <laughs> I want to replace my floors. I want hardwood floors throughout. Awesome. That is my first goal. Okay. Awesome. So knowing those things, so you need to have a picture of, or even a piece of the floor or the cut of the wood, like it's got to be everywhere. It's got to become a keychain. It's yep. got to be a picture on your phone. It's got to be a <laughs> Okay. Hello. My son's helping the mama. That never happens in my house. <laughs> my son's my saving grace. I can hear them. <laughs> I don't know what's You're happening. there. You're good. You keep Hello. freezing. Can anybody, can anybody hear us? I can't, yeah. I can't yeah. see you. But yeah, we can totally hear I, you, Rona. I know you're there. Yeah. So oh, there you are. There you are. Oh, okay. So how will it change your family's life to have that $1,500, Rona? Well, uh, a lot. <laughs> Okay. I mean, it, it'll even make me not feel guilty about going to town, you know, because oh. gas. And right. Stuff. You're so sweet. So, uh, that, uh, their internet. But I can't even have events if I phone calling things. Right. Right. It's kind of a catch twenty, right? Egg right. Before the chicken and vice no, versa. And no show events are kind of embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um there's a gal that maybe you should talk to. Her name's Elizabeth. Um, she's in Milton Freewater, Oregon. Do you know where that is? Just just a little south of Walla Walla. And she's got yes. really good at getting on the phone and calling her contacts after an event and getting people to her classes. She's having some pretty good success with that and getting really good about getting on the phone. And she sells doTERRA. Did I say that? I can't remember. Anyway, so um, I should probably hook you up with Elizabeth and have you brainstorm with her a little bit and just get some motivation that somebody else, you know, besides me, um, tells you to do it and that it's a good idea. But Elizabeth, has, she's getting really good at it. And she has those weeks where she doesn't get on the phone every time like she wants to. And, but when she does do it, she's having some good success. Did it freeze again, Rana? Okay. Okay. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. Sorry, maybe the library internet connection isn't as strong as my one at home. Okay, so last week or next week is our last week. 
trying to remember what our topic is. Is there anything specific that you want reviewed or covered that we haven't covered? If it helps you, it says Michelle has withers's network bandwidth is low. Okay. Did you just get my message? Aid? Can you guys see a message I put down at the bottom? When your graduation party is. <laughs> ah, you're so cute. Um, I do have the, um, can, can you guys hear me? Yes or yeah. no? Yes? Okay. Um, the next challenge, honestly, I'm going to send out, I just finished, okay, my head's bouncing. This little thing right here. Of this 90 day sales challenge. It's all one big notebook workbook now. Okay. You were one class ahead of getting this. <laughs> I'm going to email this to you just so you can utilize it. If you want to print it off yourself, that's the final. Well, there's been one more change made since I printed this, but pretty much. Yeah. Um, and the leadership one or the team building one, just got finished being written and it's being formatted so it looks pretty like this. Like I don't know how to do this stuff. These aren't my talents, okay? This is somebody else who makes me look smart because when things are formatted and stuff, it, it makes me look a lot more professional than when I do it on Word. So the leadership team building one is done. It's just being made pretty now. So that class, my goal is that we can start that class next week. So if you want to stay working with me, that's the goal. Um, how many 90 day challenges do I offer? Two right now, sales and team building. And um, so that's, it's, I'm so excited because these workbooks are so much better and you won't, I won't have to be sending you agendas every week and did you get it, did it print it off? And it has calendars in here, it has 12 trackers, for the entire 90 days, it has everything in it you need. And I have an amazing new recruit. There's eight document or there's eight pieces to this new recruit piece in the program. It teaches them how to ask questions to their friends and family. It teaches them how to use the tracker. It's all the pieces to get your new recruit doing all the things you know how to do right now and get them off on a good start from the beginning so you're not trying to get them re-motivated after they start and then they realize they have to get on the phone and it sucks and they don't want to <laughs> okay like we start them out good from the beginning uh let's see i'm not reading all your messages <coughs> Does it team? No, because there's a ton. The first, the first four weeks are on recruiting. Okay, so the first four weeks are on recruiting. By then, you have some recruits, and then you know how to work with your team. Okay, you do have an interview coming up, Belinda. You just said a gal from I thought you said Idaho. Yeah. Okay. So no, the first, the first like four weeks. And the thing is you also learn, I mean, you, you're going to know in advance how to talk to people and talk to new recruits versus only trying to motivate and pull the team that you do have. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, yeah, Lindsay, good attitude. Well done, Lindsay. Way to tell her. Um, 
So that's the next thing coming up, and I'm so excited about it. I can't begin to tell you because my the things I always – it's not that I didn't get awards in sales, but I got a lot more awards in recruiting and even teaching my downline how to recruit. Like that's my – um, I, I'm, I am really good at this, but I really love team building because I love seeing other people's lives change. I love that when I do my thing, not only do I benefit, but somebody else does too. So it's just, I love it. It's why I coach because I like to see you guys make money as much as I like to make money. I really like it when you guys make money okay? or accomplish your goals. Some people's goals aren't always money driven. We know that, but it's pretty fun. So, okay. Oh, thank you, Belinda. So that's that's the next thing coming up that you can jump on and be a part of if you're interested. Okay. So I'm I'm so excited about it. It's going to be a really neat program. You guys are going to love the new recruit thing. So that one because it benefits you and team members. The minimum on that per month is 150. So, but I know if you get one, three, five recruits and they all recruit, <laughs> like that money is minimal. <laughs> uh, my goal is to start on Monday. I need to look at the time. I can't decide if I'm going to do Monday or Thursdays. I need a daytime and an evening time because I know I have a few that work at night or work during the day. Sorry, I need an evening time. Most of my people might be able to do day though. Let me look at that and I will get back to you. I plan on sending out an email here soon about that. Okay. Does that sound fun? Sound good? Any other, okay. So what do you want to cover next week? I didn't get, I'm not even sure if you heard me ask that. Would you consider doing early morning? I would love to do like 6 a.m. Um, is that what you mean by early? How early do you mean by early, Blenda? I'm going to mute everybody. Not that early. Not that early? 